What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Toot 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 James, and I'm back in the building for another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. And today, um, <clears throat> I want to do a quick arena prediction for my boy Havoc, who's going to be the next basic um, tomorrow in the arenas. And um, Havoc's been getting a lot of love lately. I've seen a lot more people use him. And um, <clears throat> considering his synergies are pretty dope, you know, he gains plasma charges with the runs in the family, old teammates. He deals energy damage to opponents, 10% chance to gain one plasma charge. While each time Havoc deals energy damage to the opponent, he has a 10% chance to gain plasma charge. Now, these plasma charges are something else. Like, I've seen these charges eat alive opponents. You know what I'm saying? So, he's immune to all incinerate. So, can't touch him in no kind of way. <laughs> Havoc's mutation gives him 1,700 plus energy resistance. That's that's key right there. Havoc gains 25% less power from landing and receiving hits. And the crazy part about it is he reduces the opponent's critical damage rating by 50%. When struck by critical hits. So, yeah, the crits ain't going to work on this boy right here. You know what I'm saying? So, all his medium, heavy, and light combos do not make contact and deal energy damage. That is crazy. And if y'all know, if y'all ever fought against Bishop, energy damage is ridiculous. Like, my gosh. So, um, my prediction for the boy Havoc right here. Um, he's going to go a little higher than the past couple ones we went through. Because, uh, um, he, like I said, the synergies are awesome. Um, the immunity to incinerate with all the different perks from the plasma, the energy damage. Um, I'm going to go with 4.4 million prediction for Havoc in the basic arena. It's my first ever prediction. I'm shooting for the stars. He's going to get sought after. Although Iceman is the featured one, uh, people mainly is going to go for the five-star Iceman compared to the four-star. I'm probably going to go for the four-star Iceman just for the dupe. But uh, I'm going with 4.4 for Havoc in the basic arena. And then it may increase or decrease for round two. So stay tuned. I'll make another one for that one. So my prediction, 4.4. Minimum cutoff for Havoc. There you have it. You heard it from your boy, 2 James. First ever arena prediction. Let's see how this turns out. I'd love to put my name on the board for the rest of these guys that does predictions. Shout out to everybody else who's been on the prediction boards. You guys have been awesome. Been helping out the community, trying to figure out how high they need to score. And, you know, it'd be cool to get indulged in it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Once again, drop that like button. Appreciate all the support. We're hitting 508. Let's push to the goal 1K for the end of the year. Until the next video, it's your boy Toot 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 James. And I'm signing out.